Every now and then, I wake up on a Sunday morning feeling all energized and wanting to do some work in the garden. And my favorite task in the garden is to basically walk around the ledges outside our house and trim the plants, especially the bougainvilleas around the, around the house. And I love doing this for two reasons. One, I think it's a great functional workout because it, you know, you need to develop your balance, your flexibility, your coordination, and to some extent, even your strength and endurance. And the second thing is, you know, uh, doing that uh, gives me a sense of being useful around the house. So one day uh, after doing my trimmings, uh, I suggested to my wife that going forward, you know, we would stop the gardener and that I would take care of uh, all the trimmings around the house. And I thought she would be thrilled with the idea, but she hated it and she said no. And uh, of course, you know, I had to find out why she said no and I asked her why and she gave me three reasons. First was that I was not very reliable. That, uh, you know, I would do this when I felt like it and not when it needed to be done. The second reason she gave me was that, uh, you know, while I did a fair enough job of trimming, you know, I didn't do the finishing touches really nice. You know, I didn't like shape the plants, take care of, you know, the, the undersides of the plants and all of that. So that was a second problem. But she was okay with both of these. The real deal breaker was a third reason. Uh, and that was that I would not do a complete job. Uh, so basically, after I finished my trimmings, uh, I wouldn't really clean up the ground too well. And then she would need to get a, uh, another somebody else basically to come and clean up after me. And that was a deal breaker as far as she was concerned. How does all of this relate to the world of developing products and solutions? Now imagine a new website that was to come up, a D2C site offering you a great deal on a new product, but, uh, but you had to take care of shipping and logistics yourself. Uh, would you buy from them? Of course, you could argue that it depends on the product and depends on the deal and so on, but you sort of get the idea. I, I learned this lesson of an end-to-end -end solution the hard way back in 2014 or so, but I will not bore you with the details of that, uh, of that scarring experience. But the key here is, you know, uh, there are three things you need to really understand. You know, first is, what is the customer trying to achieve, you know, functionally, emotionally? Uh, what is it that they're trying to achieve? The second is, what is the problem that you're solving? And how is that problem preventing the customer from, you know, achieving whatever it is that they want to achieve? And the third is, you know, how will they evaluate and measure your solution against uh, whatever it is they're doing currently or other alternatives in the market. And a good understanding of these three aspects will help you develop and deliver an end-to-end -end solution. There are uh, various frameworks uh, available out there, you know, to be able to develop this understanding such as uh, customer journey maps and uh, jobs to be done and so on. But at the core of all of that, is empathizing with your customer, empathizing with your user, and trying to understand what they're trying to achieve. Once you find out the scope of the end-to-end -end solution, very often that it is, it's huge, and that, you know, from an MVP perspective, it is daunting. Uh, so at that stage, I would encourage you to go back and revisit two of the topics that we covered over the last couple of weeks, uh, one of which is the Zappos MVP, uh, and the second is the concept of a non-linear MVP where you focus on one core value proposition and partner with other players to deliver an end-to-end -end experience for the customer. In the gardening context, what my wife wanted and what she was trying to achieve was a clean garden uh, with trimmed plants and clean grounds. And I was only offering the, the clean, you know, trimmed plants. And uh, if I had you know, taken the effort to find somebody who could come over and clean up after my functional workout in the garden, she might have been okay with that. Over the last several weeks, uh, we have looked at various concepts such as beachhead strategy and MVPs and uh, early adopters and end-to-end -end solution and so on. Uh, so one question that often comes up is, how do you uh, keep your teams engaged and aligned with all of this and why is it even needed uh, this is something that we will explore in the next video so do keep an eye out for that and if you like this video 
do give it a like thank you for watching